shielded and arc the ladder about to hit 3000 HP too. Long way to go. You definitely gotta find a better place to get XP though. This is uh this is very slow leveling in here. We've been fighting non-stop for like an hour. We've gotten like two or three levels. <laughs> Got to do much, much better than that if we want to finish this tonight. Yeah, we're getting close to the end here. More crystal gear. Hey, Dagan. WTF? What? What? Why WTF? Welcome to the stream. Characters' faces always look so sad in this game. Well, they've had a hard life, man. What are you gonna do? <laughs> the fate of the world's been put on their shoulders. There's no upside on this. Right, so, if I think if we go much farther forward from here. We're going to end up in the fight with Zand, which then leads to being sucked into the world of darkness and sort of like the end of the game. But I don't think we can come back from that. So if we want to do the bonus dungeon, I think we need to leave for now. And we're going to have to level up. That we can beat the Iron Giant. I'm gonna say the Iron Giant. He has four attacks around and they're all insane. So we're gonna need as much hit points as we can get. We're gonna need um stronger attacks. I, mean, I really think that you know the best bet is just go with the Onion Knights. You know, I mean, if we're gonna play Final Fantasy III, we should make some Onion Knights, right? Okay, yeah, there's the mirror. It's just like the mirror from Final Fantasy 2. That's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, if we do the mirror, I think that's the point of no return. So, leave. We'll come back here when we're ready to do the final push through the end of the game. For now, let's go get ready to fight an Iron Giant and beat that super boss. Which means it's time to level. I'm thinking... All right, so we got two different levels we want to, we need to push up. One is our class level, like our actual, like our, 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 sorry, our character level, like our actual character's level. We need to get experience for that. And we'd like them to get up to like, you know, basically 99 for Onion Knights, because Onion Knights suck until the mid 90s. That's just the way they're designed. So, and we might as well level them as black belts as much as that as we can because that'll raise their max HP up. And then once we're really strong, we can... We can once we get to those levels where Onion Knights are useful, we can switch over to actually being Onion Knights and then we're going to need to level up their job levels. And then once we're ridiculously strong Onion Knights with job levels, we can go into the bonus dungeon and fight the ridiculously strong dragons that live there to farm Onion Knight gear to actually get the best equipment in the game for them. And then we'll be walking gods that can stomp all over the final boss, hopefully. 
We'll see how that goes. Hey, Dagan came in. He said WTF, and then that was it. I don't know what he. I don't know. What, I don't know what it meant. There's no context. It's just WTF. <laughs> No, no, no information is communicated. Other than some sort of state of confusion. As to something. Oh well. I hope he enjoyed the show. What little time he was here. And the worst part about the Crystal Tower is just getting in and out of it. It takes so long because you have to go through the labyrinth. There's just no way around this maze. Alright, so I think first things first, we go and get Ultima Weapon, because why not, right? And... It's another thing to consider, like, are there any other jobs that we want to get to 99 because of their job item? So, like, each job when you get to level 99 unlocks, like, a really good item that you can get from the, from the Ultimate Smith. I don't know if any of those are something we need to care about. I mean, if we're going to be getting Onion Knight gear, maybe we don't care. So they do tend to be like nice items that actually like increase your stats and stuff. Let's see. Let me, let me see what some of them are. I'm curious. Let's look them up. Um, where would I go to look that up? Um. Well, first of all, also to unlock the the dungeon. We need to have gotten... Oh, can we do Magnet right here? Yeah. We don't have the letters, so... We need to get letters from the four old men in Amur, the ones that thought that they were the uh, legendary heroes, and we need to get letters from um, Prince Alice, or King Alice now, I guess. Um, in order to get the letters from the old men and King Alice, you have to complete the first two Magnet side quests first. Okay. So we need to finish the Ultima Weapon side quest to get those letters. So once we finish the Ultima Weapon side quest, we should get a bunch more letters which should open up the optional dungeon. So let's go do Ultima Weapon first. And then that'll open up our ability to do the other dungeon. And the other dungeon, you know, I, I had talked about how, um, the the strongest random enemies in the game, the dragons, are what drops the um, the onion knight gear. Well, the only random enemies in the bonus dungeon are the dragons. It's just like dragon fight after dragon fight after dragon fight, and the dragons are like crazy. They have like you know ninety nine thousand HP and crap. They're they're very strong. All right, so I think we want to go. I think we want to go to the town of the Dark Knights to find the smith. I've gone there a couple times already, preemptively, but I think we had to get into Eureka first. And now that we've been in Eureka, I believe that we can find the smith in Faldebard and then um, get Ultima Weapon Armor. Is she here, Algabard? Oh, is that her? That's her right there? Is this what you were looking for? Yes, yes, that's unmistakably Orichalcum. I didn't even think I'd ever lay eyes on it. Thanks for bringing it to me. Mind if I start working on it? Do as you wish. You hand over the Orichalcum. This is going to be quite the challenge indeed.
I was expecting you. I've succeeded in tempering Oric Halcom. The result is my best work yet, if I may say so myself. Here it is. It's yours, as promised. Use it well. All right, ultimate weapon. So, speaking of the items for mas job mastery, so getting a job to level 99, you can come back to her, and she's going to be all over the world. Like she says, I'm going to continue my travels, seeking new metals to temper and all that. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere. So she literally starts going all over the dang place. You have to find her is also part of it. But um, you get a job to level 99, job level 99, and that masters it. And then you can go find, track down the ultimate smith there, and she'll give you an item. So like for freelancer, she'll give you the celestial gloves, which gives you, if you look here, like we have, these are our stats, strength, agility, vitality, intellect, mind. It gives you plus 10 to every stat for if you have the celestial gloves um and that's from mastering freelancer <laughs> um warrior gives you the gigantic axe monk gives you sure gloves which give you plus 20 strength uh white mage gives you the angel robe which is plus 20 mind black mage gives you a lilith rod that can cast death uh red mage gives you a crimson vest that's plus 10 doll attributes which you could wear along with the gloves for plus 20 doll attributes uh thief gives you a gladius which is plus 20 to agility the knight gives you save the queen which is a sword that can cast reflect um ranger gives you an artemis bow plus 10 to agility scholar gives you the omnitome which gives you plus 10 to int and mind geomancer gives you the blessed bell which is plus 10 agility mind and intellect um, Viking gives you a mighty hammer with plus 20 vitality, which could make leveling as a Viking a viable way to get HP if you wear that. Dragoon gives you a magic lance. Dark Knight gives you Murakumo, which is another sword that um, gives plus 20 agility. Evoker gives the royal crown, which is plus 10 intellect and mind. Bard gives the ballad crown, which is plus 10 vitality and mind. And see, Black Belt gives the Master Dogi plus 10 agility in mind. Magus is the Millennium Rod, which can class Blazaga. Um, the uh, Devout gives a Holy Wand, which can cast Kiraga. And the Summoner gives Astral Bracers, which are plus 10 intellect in mind. And the Ninja gives Muramasa, which gives another sword, which is plus 10 agility and plus 5 to all the other attributes as well. And then the Sage gives the Sage Staff, which is also plus 10 null attributes. So, oh, and then the Onion Knight, if you get them to job level 99, gives you the Onion Blade, which is a sword that gives you plus 7 null attributes. So, if you stack up a lot of those items, you can get some insane attribute bonuses, but you gotta get to lo job level 99 to unlock them. Not gonna worry about that right now. Right now, we are going to focus on just straight up leveling. So we've got 99 potions and we have a magic ship <laughs> that can fly us all around the world and um, has a shop and an inn in it, which is super convenient. I think, all right, so Bahamut is on the floating continent. Let's go back to Bahamut's lair, I think. And I that might be our best bet for XP. Because, like I said, the monsters there are weaker than in the Crystal Tower. But you encounter them fairly frequently, and they come in larger groups. So I think we might be able to do better than, like, the 3,300, 4,400 XP per fight we were getting in the Crystal Tower. And while killing them faster and safer environment, possibly. Let's see how it turns out. So... It's also easily accessible. Bomb the Slayer should be like right over here. Boom. Which means we can park our ship right outside of it too. Which makes it very easy to handle stuff like that. And for this, I am going to switch Cosmos also to a Black Belt. Because we want everybody to get that HP. I don't think we're going to need a healer in here. We're not fighting any bosses. I'm actually going to keep her in the back row until she um, gets finished with her job transition, I think. 
Also, we just have really crap weapons for her. Like, if she doesn't wear a weapon, she has 122 attack. I think she's better off without them right now. We can still give her the ribbon. That's something. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. We've gotten like five levels so far tonight in the first, what, hour of the stream? Hour and a half? Um, almost two hours of the stream, five levels. Let's see if we can do better than that, huh? Alright, Bahamut's Lair. If we just, right here, we should be able to just get fights, right? Yeah. Didn't take long to get that fight. Alright, we're only fighting two guys here. We are just going to literally attack with everybody. There'll be one-shotting things. That's another thing that we're going to kill the monsters a lot faster in here. We won't get as many job levels because they're not going to be getting as many actions, but that's not a big deal. 3,800 XP, much, much faster. I think, and much safer. I think this is going to be the way. Can we get bigger groups? Group of three? Yeah, this is going to work out. So the biggest XP we were getting in Crystal Tower, and those were against much more dangerous enemies that took everyone's effort to kill, was like 4,400 per fight. And the fights took longer than that. That fight against those three guys gave us 5,700. Yeah. Much better leveling here, even though it's safer. <laughs> and easier monsters. So here's our leveling spot, I guess. Until I can find a better one. I would try to level in the bonus dungeon, but um, the dragons are going to be really hard fights until we get a lot stronger. So already everyone is close to hitting 3,000. Shulk is pulling away. He's getting close to 32 already. Good for him. There's a little bit of randomness in how much you get each time you level up. But it is, your vitality plays a very big role in it, so being a black belt and having our vitality so much higher is going to get us to higher HP faster. And your HP actually carries over between jobs, so when we switch to whatever other job, we'll keep that high HP. And the rest of our stats will be just as good as they would have been if we'd been in that other job the whole time. We don't have to worry about being a physical class the whole time and then switching to Sage. You'll have just as good of mind and intelligence as you would have had if you'd been a Sage the whole time. Alright, so this is our life now. <laughs> Ugh, fighting these guys. Encounter rate seems brighter in here too. The smaller dungeon, so they can have a higher encounter rate without it being annoying. The Crystal Tower had an encounter rate this high, it would take so long. Oh my god. And it's already so much of an endurance trial, being such a long dungeon. Yay, 5700 XP. That's the fight we want to get.
this is the part that would make sense for me to do, like, you know, between streams. <laughs> because there's not going to be much to do while I'm doing this. It's just a lot of me uh, running around getting XP. Maybe what we should do is have me do it between streams, but then, like, because, like, this is going to take a while. It's going to take a couple hours, probably. Um... We could go ahead and start Final Fantasy 4, and then I could work on this between streams, I guess. And then come back for the bonus dungeon on the final boss once we're powered up. I mean, honestly, we're strong enough to fight our way through the World of Darkness now, but we won't be able to do Iron Giant for, until we do all the other stuff. That the, the bonus boss is, like, such a large power jump from the final boss. It's that way in a lot of Final Fantasies. You'll have, like, the alt optional super boss that is just, like, far and away more powerful than anything you have to do in the story. So if you want to fight the optional super boss, you need to, like, take steps, you know? <laughs> and this is by far... This is not anywhere near as hard as some of the super bosses in later Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VII all have harder super bosses. Final Fantasy XII does, um, pretty much all of them, really. This is a wimpy super boss. <laughs> There's only one of them. But, uh, he's still a huge step up from the final boss of the game. So what do you guys think? Should we grind this out on stream, or should we go ahead and start Final Fantasy IV tonight? I'm amenable to either one. It'd basically be like, I would start Final Fantasy IV tonight, we'd still play Final Fantasy IV tomorrow, and then probably Monday we'd finish up Final Fantasy III, having given me time to, like, level up my Final Fantasy III characters between the streams. No one's going to want to watch this. It's, it's literally going to be me running back and forth <laughs> for like a couple hours right here and letting auto battle happen. You'd prefer that I don't stay up extraordinarily late. Oh, are you looking out for me, Garden Eden, or you just don't want to have to stay up here late yourself? <laughs> I'll be fine. Hell, if we start Final Fantasy IV, I might stay up late. What level did I get my warrior to last night? Um... What level was I? I think I'm... I don't remember. You're looking out for me? Ah, oh, I appreciate that, Garden Eden. 41 sounds about right. You're learning to play Sweet Song from Xena Saga 2 in Final Fantasy XIV? I mean, that's awesome! And I have a request now. On Wednesday, when we go back to Final Fantasy XIV, can you play it? Because that'd be awesome. <laughs> I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I was 41. Um, I'm getting ready to unlock the Titan fight. I'm getting really close to the Titan fight. So Wednesday, we'll probably be doing Titan. And then, um, whatever comes after that, you know, there, there's a... Yeah, Titan's level 34, but <laughs> I am much higher level than that. But you don't have to be to join in, you know? Um... Assuming you get money together for another time card. Oh. Good luck. Alright. Yeah. In the interest of having the show not be just me grinding for a couple hours tonight, I think we'll go ahead and cut it here. We'll switch to Final Fantasy IV. And, um... Let me go outside so I can save. And I will do this running back and forth for hours on end thing off stream so when we come back we'll, 
with this plan, we'll be doing Final Fantasy 4 tonight. We'll be doing Final Fantasy 4 Saturday. Sunday is Chrono Cross with Deadshire. And then Monday, before we get back to Final Fantasy 4, I should have leveled by then, probably. So assuming I've leveled everybody up by Monday, then we can pick back up with Final Fantasy 3 on Monday, finish Final Fantasy 3, and get back to Final Fantasy 4. Seems like a good plan. I like this plan. This is, this is a good plan. It's not going to take too awful long. Like, we just got a level there just running around for a couple minutes, but it's, it's going to take a long time considering we're going all the way to like 99. So it's, it's going to be a wait. All right. The stream's going to go down. It's going to come right back up in like a minute. I'm just switching games. Uh, I got to reconfigure because I'm switching from a PC game to a PSP game. We're going to be playing the PSP version of Final Fantasy IV first. I am planning on playing the PC version of Final Fantasy IV if the viewers want to see it, because it is a very different, it's based on the DS version and it's very different um, as far as like mechanics, because they added this whole system, which we'll talk about when we get to four. So I'll be right back. See you then, don't touch that dial. I'm not going away. I'm just switching over. <laughs> 